Let's move on to item number 11. A triangle has a base of 8 cm. Its height is 5 less than twice. What is the area in cm squared of the triangle? 44, 48, 72, or 88? Let's see which is correct. So from here, if the base is 8, and since the area is 5 less than twice the base, then therefore your base is 2 times 8 minus 5, which is 16 minus 5 or 11. And since you have now the base and the height, you can now compute it using the formula A equals B times height all over 2. And that's A equals 8 times 11 all over 2. That's 4 times 11. How come? Because 8 divided by 2 is 4. And 4 times 11 is 44. Hence, the area is A, 44 square units. Number 12. How many squares with integer side lengths have areas less than 196 square units? Is it 12, 13, 14, or 15? For this one, we have to recall the fact that since we are uh, delimiting the side lengths as integers, we know that 4 squared, 14 squared is 196. To get the area of a square, it's side square, right? And <clears throat> therefore, we could say that squares with side lengths 1, 2, 3, until 13 have areas less than 196 square units. You could have your 1, 1 squared, it's 1, 2 squared, 4, 3 squared, 9, all the way until 13 squared, which is 196. Oh, sorry, 13 squared, which is 169. If you go beyond that, if you have 14 squared, 15 squared, and so on, it will not satisfy the condition of having an area less than 196. Hence, there are only 13 such squares. Letter B is the correct answer. 13. I hope you got this. What is the area of a rhombus whose base equals 15 and height equals 8? Is it 60, 80, 90, or 120? To get the area of a rhombus, we have to use the formula area equals base times height. So this one is pretty straightforward. So A equals 15 times 8. That gives you A <laughs> equals 120 square units. If you answer D, great job. Number 14. Which of the following can be the lengths of the sides of a triangle? Is it 3, 3, 10, 5, 6, 12, 13, 20, 18, or 15, 20, 3, 8? What do you think? So I hope you could still recall your triangle inequality, that is, in any triangle in the Euclidean plane or in the flat surface, the sum of any two sides should be greater than the third or the remaining side. If the sum is less than or equal, then it cannot form a triangle. So with such purpose, you could see that A will not satisfy this because you could see 3 plus 3, it's less than 10. It's so it's not greater than, so it's out. The same thing here, 5 plus 6, which is 11, is less than 12, so not allowed. For letter D, if you add 15 plus 23, that's greater than 8. Okay. 23 plus 8 is greater than 15. However, 15 plus 8 is equal to 23, which is the length of the third side. Hence, it will not form a triangle. But for option C, you could see that 13 plus 20 is greater than 18. 13 plus 18 is greater than 20 and that 20 plus 18 is greater than 13. For any sum 
for any pair of sums, it is always greater than the length of the third side. Hence, this is possible. Hence, the correct answer here is letter C. Number 15. I am a parallelogram with four equal sides. What am I? <clears throat> am I a square, rectangle, rhombus, or trapezoid? So since we are talking about parallelograms, <coughs> trapezoid is out because a trapezoid is not a parallelogram. A parallelogram has needs to have two pairs of parallel sides, two pairs of opposite sides that are parallel. But for a trapezoid, you have only one pair, so it's not possible. So hence, we will have square means four equal sides and having four equal angles. For rectangle, four equal angles. Rhombus has four equal sides. And in fact, that's the answer we're looking for. The correct answer is letter C. Okay, 16. The following statements are true, are always true in the Euclidean plane or flat surface, except equilateral triangles are isosceles. That is a true statement. Remember that. All, equil all equilateral triangles are isosceles triangles. Equiangular triangles are also equilateral. That is true because you could actually verify with a the hinge theorem that all of the three sides are equal. Equilateral triangles are also equiangular. The same thing is true. Letter D, however, is impossible to happen. A right triangle may be equilateral, it's false. Why? Because an equilateral triangle has 60 degree measures of all the interior angles, and it could never be a 90 degree angle. Hence, it's impossible to happen. D is the correct answer. Number 17. What is the surface area in centimeter square of a cylinder with circular base radius of 4 cm and the height of 5 cm? Is it 72 pi, 80 pi, 84 pi, or 96 pi? I'll reveal the solution now. We have to recall that the surface area of uh, a cylinder is equal to 2 r pi or 2 pi r times r plus h. Note that it's, uh, to make it simple, it's simply the circumference of a circle multiplied by the sum of the radius and the height. So with such, by substitution, you have 2 times 4 times pi times the sum of four and five, two times four is eight, four plus five is nine, and eight pi times nine will be 72 pi, letter A. Okay, number 18, moving on. If A is equal to the set containing one, two, three, four, and B is a set containing two, four, six, eight, nine, then A intersection B is equal to what? Which of A, B, C, and D is correct, do you think? So when we speak about intersection, we are talking about the elements that are common to both sets. And intersection is defined as A intersection B equals the set of all X, such that X is an element of A, and X is an element of B. So it has to be common to both of them. And we could see that what is common to them are the elements two and four. Letter A is the correct answer. 19. What is the volume in centimeters cubed of a cone with circular base radius, 3cm, and the height of 4 cm? Is it 10 pi, 12 pi, 24 pi, or 36 pi? From here, we have to recall, we have to recall 
that the volume of a cone is simply one third the area, I mean one third the volume of a cylinder. That's why the numerator here is the volume of the cylinder. So the, for the volume of a cone, that's V equals pi R squared H all over three. Then substitution, we have pi times three squared times four all over three. You could simplify the three squared over three. Three squared over three is three. That's why we have pi times three times four left. And that is equal to 12 pi cubic centimeters, letter B. Number 20, I hope you got this. 20, two angles form a linear pair. If one angle measures 23 minus 2x degrees, if y is the other angle, what is y? Is it 157 minus 2x, 2x minus 157, 2x plus 57, or negative 2x minus 157? So remember, if in our case, if let if y is the other angle, then we could see that they are supplementary. So y plus 23 minus 2x is 180. So you are only solving for the value of y. Hence, you have to subtract 23 minus 2x both sides of the equation. So you have y equals 180. This tw positive 23 became minus 23. And this negative 2x became plus 2x. So with that, 180 minus 23 could be simplified to 157. And rearranging the terms, we have y is equal to 2x plus 157, letter C. Okay.